this police set here. Um, this is a, a blue coloured one and uh, I think they're going for the blue there to make it obviously more more safe for kids to use, well blue and orange which is not a bad idea but you know it's like oh, it takes away from the realism and most people like their guns to look like guns but um, you know if you're not too fussy it's um it looks pretty good I mean it's got some nice detail there with the silver but um, yes this is what we're looking at today it's this police set and it it does look like what a police would carry I think this is Beretta M9 so Dreamtopia police set ages 3 and up and on the back blue backing yeah so and the hole here so it can be hung you know on those racks so it's got um I think this is called plaster card this type of packaging if you know what this type of packaging is called and I've got that wrong let me know in the comments so I'll know for next time Past the card, it's, it's fun because it, at least the noise of it, it's um, part of the unboxing experience. Whoa, damn, that, oh, that is super light. Yikes. So think of like a water pistol with no internals. So it's completely hollow. Oh, very nice trigger. Trigger pull. Yeah, I like it. Wow. It grip I know this is quite thick we'll get back to that in a, in, a, in a second so everything in the box no no key guys you gotta give oh well it's got the release here okay so we have a pistol a radio a baton and a pair of handcuffs so start with the handcuffs Nothing, no illustrations or patterns on the handcuffs. Looks like they're complete plastic. Release is under here. Opens like so. Holds in place somewhat. Look, plastic handcuffs are never going to be perfect. <laughs> I, you really, if you want handcuffs at work, you're going to want to get some metal or stainless steel. Actually, I'm not, I've never looked into materials that they use for handcuffs, but... You're going to want metal ones, at least. These will work to some degree, but they're quite easy to release. See, I, I can just pull that out without using the release button there. But for really young kids, they might, they probably would have trouble unlocking it. This one holds. Yeah, that one holds really well. Yeah, you have to use a fair bit of force to pull it out. So... There's the handcuffs. And then we have the baton. Oh, oh, it's a very yeah. So this is the, the plastic. This is made out of is very squishy. Yeah, you you be very hard to hurt someone with this. Very short. Looks like a baton. Well one style of baton. It's, it's not the telescopic one. Uh, it's not modelled off a telescopic one. It's modelled off a fixed fixed, probably full tang baton. Actually, I don't even know if you use the word full tang with batons. If you know about knives, I uh, know at least with knives you use the term full tang, meaning that the, the blade goes all the way through to the end. If you know whether that is whether you use that for um, that reference for batons, let me know in the comments. Very small grip. Well, it's not very wide at all. It Lengthwise, it's okay. Um, a hole in the end. Yeah, so that's the baton. The radio. Well, there's no clip on the back, so you can't clip it on. Uh, it's the same material as that baton. Squishy. It's got a good amount of detail on it. Oh, I think I've warped it. No! No. 
Actually, I think you can, to reverse that, if you put this in hot water, it should um, pop it out. This, just like um, if you've ever seen with ping pong balls, if they get a dent, you can pop it in water, hot uh, boiling water, and it should um, pop it back to the normal shape. So, radio, good, good, de good attention to detail on the front. The back's um, very flat, or well, not much going on in the back. But, uh, well, perhaps there isn't meant to be much going on in the back. Yeah, most radios probably are just blank. So, good, good, good attention to detail. No, no buttons that you can actually press, that are designed to be pressed. But, uh, and it's very small. But yes, uh, on to the, the, uh, the main, the main act, the pistol here. So, uh, Modelled after a bread M9, got an orange muzzle, front iron sight, slide, the rear iron sight, the hammer, slide release, slide lock, um, safety lock back here, magazine release, the trigger, the trigger guard. It feels like you could pull that trigger for ages and you wouldn't run into any trouble. Clicks nice and loud as well. Mm, it's, it's not bad at all. Screws are on this side, screw ports, one, two, three, four, five, five screws holding uh, this together. And the muzzle also. Oh, that sits in there somehow. It kind of spins a bit. The grip here on the side, the silver painting to make it look like metal. And, oh, there's pretty comfortable. It's almost the right size where you can actually fit. If I a kid, it would probably, a really a small, small kid's hands would um, fit that quite well, I reckon. They might find it a bit wide though. It's, it's quite, quite wide, quite thick. Like seriously thick. Um, but, looks like not a bad, not a bad little prop. So yeah. Well, that, that uh, sums up this review. Let me guys, uh, remember if you have any suggestions for any types of toy guns, whether they're Lego or um, any, any, any suggestions, drop them down in the comments or send me an email or contact me on, um, I've got social media as well. And I'll see if I can get hold of it and review it for you guys. That's all for today's video, see you in the next one.